Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today I'm going to be showing you the fastest way in the game to gain experience. Believe it or not, it's in the ice cave just by triggering the encounter with the eye over and over again. You can do this as soon as you have access to the airship because the only thing that makes the eye so dangerous is that he has a high chance of casting uh, an instant death spell during the first round. He has other attacks like Glance, which can turn a party member to stone, and other things I talked about in the main video. The reason why I like this spot over any other spot in the game is because of the lack of downtime and how quickly the battle itself goes. Each battle should last anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds because any two of your party members should be able to take this guy down and your fighter may even be able to take him down in one hit. Sure, this, the Sky Castle gives more experience per battle and even the Mirage Tower uh, can as well, and the Mirage Tower is more convenient because you can use a house anytime you're running out of spell charges or anything of the sort. But I, st I still think this place is better than the Power Peninsula or any of the other fixed encounter points in the game just because of downtime. There is almost no downtime uh, between battles, and the battles are just so short because they end in one or two characters' turns. Now, this can even be made more foolproof if you get the Aegis Shield ahead of time, which I believe is in the next dungeon. Because then he can't kill any of your party members with with the uh, with the kill spell, which is called XXXX in this game. He can't turn your fighter to stone. And there's really not much this guy can do to you that can kill you. Now, you'll get into other encounters once maybe every 20 battles. Most of them are against undead enemies or enemies that are weak to fire. So you have wizards, you have the wizard staff, or excuse me, the mage staff. That's the wrong weapon. The mage staff is the one that's used as an item to cast fire two. You have fire two, and you have two light axes. So you have plenty of ways to deal with the other enemies. The only enemies that can really kill you are sorcerers, because as I found out, the pro ring does not make you immune to instant death from sorcerers and their physical attacks, which is really annoying. All right, now we've gained 23,000 gold and a lot of experience in just the two minutes of this video. So it shouldn't take you long to use this method to get up to level 25. 